Hey people, Real Wolf out here. Today, let's check out some licks from my uh, from one of my biggest heroes, Zack Wild. Um, I did a couple of breakdowns on my channel of uh, like two or three of his solos. Uh, been a while since I did something on Zack Wild, so I thought I'd just give you three or four licks that I just really enjoy stealing and putting into my own repertoire of licks. And I think you should do that too because they're just really great. And the cool thing, they're pretty, they're, they're kind of virtuose and, and, uh, and fast, but they're achievable. And that's, that's one of the greatest things uh, about Zack Wilde. And I think he has that in common with his heroes. Um, <clears throat> like for example, Randy Rhodes or Van Halen, people that Zack Wilde uh, were his idols. You know, take a look at Van Halen. It's blistering. He got two hand tapping. He's got a great legato and, and everything. But it's in the realm of mortal people to achieve. It's not something like John Petrucci, Petrucci or Eric Johnson kind of uh, speed picking, which takes like a decade <laughs> to practice, and maybe you're never gonna get that speed. It's a different thing with Van Halen, Randy Rhodes, Zack Wilde. It sounds just as great, but you can actually learn it in a relative uh, short amount of time. So let's start with my first favorite lick. <coughs> Would be this one right here. Uh, let's say you're in the key of E. Sounds pretty fast, right? So let me play it slow. Okay, now let me just say a couple words about this thing. All it is, is basically a pattern that goes like this and is your first position. Oh, let me get off that distortion. <clears throat> so, you're in your first box of the pentatonic. So you got your four, your third, your root note, and your seven, right? It's the A, G, E, D, those four notes. Now you take that pattern, just go to the next pentatonic box, which would be this one right here. Play exactly the same pattern, do it again with the next one below, next one below, and that's it. And you can do that with speed picking, or you can do it with legato, that's how I actually like to do it. I like to put a, um, what do you call it, pull off on the first two notes. Like that. That makes you, makes it much easier to play. It almost sounds identical. I mean, listen to this. Um, this is with um, legato, you know, with the pull off. And this would be with the speed picking. It's not that much of a difference, right? Only that doesn't sound as clean when I play it, when I try to play it with speed picking. It sounds a little bit cleaner when I do the pull offs. Uh, when I do it with the pull offs, then the second part of the of the lick would be this one right here. This is like a little coda, a little ending to that lick. Um, and basically, all it is, you got your blues note right here. You can do it like a little slide. Or you can do a bend. Or you can do something like that. Just something to end that lick on your root note. And when I'm in the key of E, like right here, what I like to do um, is just keep it going. And just go down all the way until you hit rock bottom, so to say. So you go up from here. You know, depending on the circumstances where I want that lick to end, it could either end right here or, or go down all the way. You know who else does this lick? Michael Ahmed. And listen to the band Spiritual Beggars. There's this song, Angel of Betrayal, really cool song. And um, in that song, uh, the guitar solo, and right at the end of the guitar solo, um, I, I, I hope I'm not mistaking the song. It might be a different Spiritual Beggar song, but I think it's Angel of Betrayal. Anyways, he's playing exactly the same lick. 
So if Zach Wilde and Michael Ammer are doing that lick, it's okay for us to do that lick too. Lick number two. <laughs> Again, a pentatonic lick sounds pretty fast and blistering and everything, but again, it's actually not that hard. What you have again is your root position pentatonic box, your first pentatonic box. But um, what you're doing is you're doing like a stretch pentatonic, I guess it's called, because you're stretching to the next um, pentatonic position, which would be this one right here. And you end up with this pattern. Now you do. So you got one, two, three, four, and the second uh, 16th group would be. Now you can add diatonic notes if you want. Um, I've actually not heard Zach Wilde do that, but I mean, why not? Go ahead. <laughs> so you can do this with pull-offs or you can do it with alternate picking. <laughs> See, I just connected those two licks makes it really nice, you got, go up from here all the way down to there. It's all pentatonic. Um, next lick is not gonna be a pentatonic one, um, it's a diatonic. And here's a little tip on the side. Don't forget, if you wanna sound like Zach Wilde, don't forget to add that really wide vibrato. Something like that, you know, just really shake those strings. <clears throat> the vibrato of Sack Wild is really wild. <laughs> it's really wild and, and wide. And you really have to shake those strings. Mm. Back to the lick. It's all um, diatonic scale. This time it's not 16 groups, it's, uh, it's six trip, what do we call it? Um, triplets of six. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. All di uh, diatonic scale, right? <clears throat> now, this uh, lick is from the song Stillborn. And he's doing it legato, definitely, on that one. But again, it's up to you if you want to do speed picking. Also sounds cool. I like to do uh, legato, actually. I think when you do legato, it's got more of that Van Halen-ish sound, you know? You know? Maybe it's just me. Um, here's a, a, a cool thing about this lick. Uh, at the ending, when you write here, so first of all, it's the E, um, e Aeolian scale, which is the E, natural E minor scale, you know? You got your C right here. And now something interesting is happening. As he keeps going up that scale, all of a sudden, there's a C sharp. So, it kind of modulates to E um, Dorian. Or um, A Mixolydian, however way you want to see it. But because he's playing it so fast, uh, it kind of doesn't, um, you can't really, you know, it doesn't sound wrong, you know? You know, speed kills, speed kills everything, even tonality. <laughs> And um, then he's doing this kind of thing, right? He's kind of squeezing a bunch of notes that are really hard to distinguish and hear out because he's playing them so fast. They're not in a, uh, in a six triplet feel anymore. They're just off time. 
and um, he just plays them so fast, something like this. But then he lands on, on a bend to the root note uh, and it sounds nice again. So the key is just to play it really fast and go into off timing, but then get back on time. <laughs> I know it uh, sounds stupid, but that's the way it is. Okay, here's a little extra lick. Uh, this one's awesome from the song Stillbone. Goes like this. I don't know why I like this lick so much. Um, it's right at the beginning of the solo of Stillborn, and it's just one of those licks that that, that sounds so so genius because it's so simple. It's like one of those moments where you just listen to it and like, yeah, it just sounds right. Um, it's actually just the um, the uh, blue scale. <laughs> And I like this little bending at the end. Yeah, maybe it's just me. Put it in the comments if you also like this lick so much. It's a little bit different than the ones that I showed before, but it's a little bonus thing. Um, yeah, put a uh, like to this uh, video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more stuff like this. Comments in the box. Um, yeah, thank you for watching this video and see you next time. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Um, if you want the tabs, go to my Patreon channel. I'd really appreciate it if you subscribe there. It gives me a couple, uh, gives me a little income and uh, it gives you the tabs. So it's much easier for you to learn these licks with the tabs, of course. Thanks for watching again. See you next time.